Welcome to my garden. Such a pleasure to be here again. And um, just now I'm in the sunken garden. And uh, here I have so much in bloom, tulips, daffodils. And uh, as you can see, the color scheme is um, white, creamy, soft yellow. Um, but today I will not talk that much about the sunken garden, but in a few days I will uh, share a video from, from this garden room. Um, but today I have, um, I have decided to take you on a little tour. Of course we have many spring bulbs here in May, but we have also, we also have other things which is um, just amazing. And this is uh, magnolias and I have um, different uh, species and uh, varieties in the garden. And uh, today I would like to talk about them. The first um, magnolia I would like to show you is um, this one. It's a quite small tree. But um, this tree is very old. Uh, when we went to this place in 94, it was already here and um, it had been growing very, very slow during the years. I think it's um, such a beautiful variety. You can see here the soft um, pink or the maybe the creamy flowers with a hint of pink here. Sadly enough, I don't know um, the name, but uh, now I will um, show you some varieties where, I, um, where I, I know what they are called. The variety I will show you now is um, also a little tree. You could also maybe call it a shrub. And um, this variety is um, Leonard Messel. It's um, such a beauty. You uh, probably know the variety called uh, Magnolia stellata uh, with um, star-shaped uh, flowers. And this is um, a part of this uh, family, you can um, call it. Such um, a beautiful magnolia. There are so many different uh, varieties. There are small ones, there are tall ones. and. Uh, Many of them, they are pink or soft pink or white, but uh, very seldom uh, you can see yellow varieties. And uh, I will go and uh, show you one. Uh, no, I have four of the same. This is yellow birds. Please come with me. This is yellow birds. I think it's, um, it's just great. And the... Um, Amazing things and uh, interesting things with magnolias is that they start almost start to flower before you see the foliage. But uh, now you can see the foliage, um, the leaves they are folding out, and um, see this. Um, I think it's um, yes, I think it's amazing with this color. And um, in um, in this part of the garden we have four. Um, of uh, yellow bird and uh, we also have other shrubs here and uh, I would like to show you some few. This is a very charming shrub, Vigela and uh, the variety name is um, Canary and uh, you can see it's, um, it's almost the same uh, color as um, as yellow bird. I think it's also a great, great shrub. And um, we have um, other things here which I would like to show you. Maybe you know this little beauty here. This is um, Erythronium. This is a bulb plant and I think this is, um, this is just charming. And then we will have Allium. Allium Mount Everest, they are white, and um, this is a willow, Salix Helvetica, and uh, this willow, this uh, Salix, uh, will get um, almost uh, silver grey uh, foliage, um, and it's also a, such um, a charming shrub. I would also like to talk about this tree. Uh, 
in English it's called weeping pier because it's um, it's um, it's really a pier with a very very small fruits. Nero, are you also are you playing with the ball here? Nero, come here. Yes. People are always asking about you if you are not here in my film. Come here, Nero. Come, come here. Take it. Are you? Come here. Up. Oh, you are so clever. No, we were talking about the weeping pier. This is Pyrus salicifolia. It almost looked like an olive, and um, I think the the silver grey um, uh, color here is uh, great together with the. Uh, oh, have you been here with the? Yes, always you are ready. Come here, and when we when we first start to play with Nero, he will not stop. Yes. And uh, when we talk about color schemes, it's great that the ball have the same color as the flowers here. Uh, no, I would also like to show you this one. Come and see here. And you can see they are like uh, small roses. They are also incredible. I have so many shrubs um, in my borders together with the perennials and together with the bulb plants because um, I, I think that the, that the, the shrubs, they are great because they, um, they are bold and uh, they give so much um, to the borders. I would also like to show you this little border. I just love the wild style we have just now uh, with the beautiful uh, daffodils and um, the tulips and um, this one, maybe you think this is forget-me-not, but this is not forget-me-not. It looks like Miosotis forget-me-not, but this is Brunera. Um, Brunera is a, is a great plant because it's a perennial, which will come back year after year. Uh, the thing is, uh, with, with the Miosotis, which I will show you in a moment, they will, um, when they have flowered, they will die. Um, maybe, you know, you sow them, um, and the first year you will just have green leaves. The year after they will um, they will start to flower and then they will die. Um, let's also talk about um, this shrub. This is uh, hydrangea limelight. We have um, so many hydrangeas in the garden. Of course, it's a bit uh, too early. Um, to see the flowers. Some of them have very small buds, but later in the season I would uh, like to talk about the hydrangeas. And here I would like to show you a quite well-known variety. This is um, Susan, and you can also see that the Susan is um, quite small. I think that um, Yes, just now the tree is about two and a half meter and maybe it will be one meter bigger. We have planted um, Susan for about five years ago. We also have um, this variety in other places uh, because I, I just love to work with the repetition. I do it um, with shrubs, I do it with, with bulbs, with tulips, with um, perennials, with annuals, because um, it it's, um, it's makes a, 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 a more natural impact. And here, Nero, are you ready again? Are you here? Shall we take it? Come say here. Yeah, come say here. Show how clever you are. You are like a circus duck. No, but this is, um, this is Susan. But I have other varieties uh, which I would like to show you. But also look at the border here. Yes, here you can see the forget-me-not. And this is, um, this is quite dark. This, is, um, this variety is called the Blue Silver. It's such, um, it's such a great variety. And then we have um, peonies. They will, um, they will start to flower in about two weeks time. And here you can see that they are pregnant. You can see the small buds here, and um, this is a beautiful variety. This is a um, bowl of beauty. And then we have lilies, and um, so much is um, happening here. Once again, we have um, Susan here, um, together with this limey philadelphus. And I think it's such a great combination with um, 
the limey foliage and uh, the almost pink flowers here. I have limey foliage um, in many places. I have uh, shrubs. I also have some trees with um, limey foliage, for, for example, Acer. Uh, I have annuals, I have perennials. And in a forthcoming video, I would also like to talk about uh, the limey, the chartreuse foliage, because I think it's um, so important um, in the garden, especially in my garden, because it's, um, it's lighting the, the plantings up. Here's one more quite small variety. This is a black tulip. I think the form here is uh, just incredible and uh, I also love the color. And uh, black tulip is also um, going so well with uh, the other plants we have here in, um, in this border. I call it my cottage border. Uh, for example, a little one I would like to show you. This is such a little beauty. I know that I'm using so many superlatives about the plants, but uh, I just I just love them, and um, it's 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 amazing that you can um, that you can have all these plants um, together. This is, um, this is Latyrus vernus, um, a sweet pea. It's not climbing, you can see it's, um, it's clump forming. Um, you can also get it in, um, in a soft pink, but uh, normally you have this um, a lilac color. And I would also say that the, this perennial, it's, um, it's a quite strong perennial. It's coming back year after year after year. Um, some perennials, they are quite short-lived, um, but, but, but this one, it's really a stunner. This is Jenny, and um, can you hear the birds? It's amazing. You know, we are living um, at the forest here, so we have so many birds in the garden. Uh, Jenny is also a great variety. Uh, it looks a little bit like black tulip, but uh, black tulip is um, darker. And uh, I think that the, all the magnolias, they give so much to my spring garden. The last one I will show you is this magnolia. And um, sadly enough, I don't know the name and um, yes, I have, I have tried to, to find it, but I haven't managed. But maybe some people who see this week, you can tell me which uh, variety it is. It's a quite uh, tall tree. I think it's um, around four meter and uh, you can see we don't have flowers now. It was uh, flowering for about two, three weeks ago. Um, some varieties, they are, uh, they are flowering early, earlier than others. But I think also the reason is maybe that um, this, this um, tree is, um, is in sun and uh, some of the other uh, magnolias we have seen, they are, they are growing in, um, in, in a more shady spot. And this is a very good thing when we talk about magnolias, that uh, they can also grow in half shades. Such a pleasure to um, show you around today. I would also like to show you, see the tulips here. They are doing, um, they are doing so well here and um, so much it's happening. It's almost unbelievable how quick things are going um, here in um, May. If I have been away for two, three days, um, it's, it's, it's difficult to understand uh, how quick it's go with, uh, with the flowering. Uh, this spring has been quite cold, uh, but I think for me it's, um, it's fine because uh, then uh, all the spring bulbs, they will last longer. Thank you so much for watching here. I am looking so much forward to come back. Goodbye, goodbye.